Right then, chaps, uh, I'm assuming that you've seen episode three. So because of episode three and the ending of that episode, I'm going to keep the camera on. I did not expect the episode to end that way. Uh, it would have been quite funny to see my reaction. It's safe to say that I shat myself. Uh, <laughs> How did we end episode three? Did we end it there in the attic? Fingers crossed we go back to Kara now. By the way, did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart oh. section? You can also see the choices made by other players there. Every episode. Every bloody episode. I'm I can't do an intro. I cannot do an intro without her interrupting me. Impossible, man. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we go back to Kara. I'm interested to see where that bit of the story goes. So without taking too much of your time in the intro, let's crack on with episode four, man. Okay, yeah. Back to Kara. Back to Kara. Todd. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Is that a drug pipe? Ooh, spaghetti bolognese. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Oh, it's baked beans and spaghetti. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Nice. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Leave her alone, you shit house. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. It is. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Yeah. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Mm -hmm. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Fuck off, Todd. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Oh. Here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Yes! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Took off without a word. Oh no. He's gonna get high and then he's gonna go upstairs, no? Little fucking brat. Am I supposed to move or not? Respect. The game was waiting for me to move. Oh, baby, we've unlocked the cheat code. Deck that at all costs. Yeah, definitely. Fuck off, Todd. Get out. Ah, protect Alice. Go, up the stairs. Up, go. He's coming. Wrong, wrong room. 
Alice is on the on the right. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Fucking isn't. Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Alice, Alice, Daddy's coming. Oh shit. I to find something. Find something to defend yourself with, find a way to escape. Find a way to escape. No car! We'll fall! It's the only way. Hurry, come on. Off, Todd. Fucking loser. Nice. I'm Indiana Jones shit. Holy fuck, Aroni, that was intense. What would have happened if I'd have faced Todd there? Wonder what would have happened. Aww. Bless her cotton socks. Look at her, she's been crying like fuck. Oh. My heart's on its ass. Oh, there was different outcomes there. Oh, wow. That could have gone a lot differently. Wow, going to have to play that one again a few times, I think, no? Oh, this is a dead end, maybe. What's this one? I wonder what that is. That is a scene I want to play again, for sure. Maybe after we finish playing the full story. Guys, if you can remind me to come back to this scene, hopefully we'll be able to play it again in a different way. Right, back to the artist. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay. Everyone loves a glass of scotch. Meat as usual? Oh, Absolutely. I fucking knew it'd be scotch. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Uh oh, no, is the sun no, back? I'm sure, I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Fantastic. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Hi, right, sorry, buddy. I'll just leave you sitting there. Who's this? Leo! It is the sun. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, what? Get him away from there. Get him out of here. You cheeky slag. Make Leo leave. Reason, order, advise. Listen, you should go before things get worse. Yeah, please run the way, mates. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not oh. perfect like this ah. fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? 
think you're a man? Act like one. Oh, stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Ow. Oh. Fucking slap the shit out of you. I must decide for myself. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm still not gonna hit him though. I'll destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. Nope. Nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. Ooh, you hear fuck me? me if you're this is real life. Dad, no. Carl, no. No, he's dead. Oh, Carl. Oh, he was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Mark. The police come. Are they gonna don't let blame anybody. the android? Tell you who you are. No, no, Dad. No. Hold him, Dad. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? No shot. How would that have worked out? I'd still be on the run, I assume. But I'd still be alive? But we don't know when we're dead. Right, back Why'd to Connor. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Alright. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Let me have a go. Let me have Weeks a fucking word. We're interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. I'm ready, coach. After all. Put me in. It's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? Bit of a dickhead. I could try questioning it. <laughs> Thank you. It's ours. Yeah. What do we have to lose? Yes. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Thanks, coach. Processing LEDs fucked. That's your name. Bride blood. Hit marks from baseball bat. Cigarette burns. Look at how many there are. He was abused, man. Okay. Got you, brother. I'm sound. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Best thing. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions. Yeah. So we can understand what happened. What? Let's get the shit out of him. Uh, probe memory. Sympathize. Threaten? 
You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. Yeah. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Gotcha, bitch. What? What are they gonna do to me? I think I've got to get him in that little white box there. Get the answers. They're, strong, they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Uh, who does? Then talk to me. Yeah. I, I. Come on. I can't. Spit it out, sir. You're in the shit. This is the only way to get rid of. Whose approach? Which approach? Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. Ah, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Stress, so pressure it. Oh! 28 stab wounds. Fuck. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you Go on, feel Connor anger? boy. Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave. I know you killed him. Am I Why supposed to be giving him stress levels? Please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Stop. Please. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Yeah. Yes. Got him. Uh, probe its memory. No, convince it. Convince. I understand how you felt. On cold. Come by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me, and you'll feel better. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Oh. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but. Got gotcha, you, bitch. Something wrong. Then one day. He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. Who developed feelings. So I... grabbed a knife and I stopped oh, Hank's him fucking seal of approval there. stabbed him again and again oh. until he collapsed there was blood everywhere writing statuette ro9 attic uh okay why did you write i am alive on the wall he used to tell me i was nothing that I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Because now he feels feelings, so now he technically does feel alive. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come 
when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. That explains why Tara and the other dude managed to break through the, the barriers. Oh, he's a naughty boy now. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. So he understands. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Who the fuck's RA9? RA9. Who is RA9? Theater. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. Oh. But one day I realized it wasn't. Who the fuck's RA9? I felt anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Don't like where this is going, chaps. I'm done. But Connor understands, though, doesn't he? I think Connor's gonna understand this situation and not probably not say. Eventually, or something. Maybe. Oh, I don't know, bro. It's hard Chris to read, Connor. Let's go. Leave me alone. Oh. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Brother. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. Oh! Holy shit. I did not expect that. That's what you get, though, when you don't listen to Connor, though, innit? Fuck! Another death. There's been a, has there been a death every episode so far? I'm not sure. Okay, there was three ways of ending... Four ways of ending that. It's probably through the interrogation progress. A uh, process, sorry. Four different endings for that one? Die, don't die. I wonder what else. Die and don't die. That's another scene I'd like to replay, chaps. You're gonna have to remind me. We'll have to go. Th we'll have to make an episode where I write down all these answers, play it again, and avoid the ones I've already chosen. Holy shit! I did not expect that. Chaps, we're back to Kara. I'm gonna call the episode here, man. My heart is still aching after watching that first scene, and I need to mentally prepare myself. Oh, that that was a roller coaster. That was a roller coaster episode. Holy tits! Fuck me. Um, if you enjoyed it, chaps, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Take care. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.